All right, Workout Worthy, welcome to day number 29 of our 30-day fitness challenge. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and come back. We have today and tomorrow, and then our 30-day fitness challenge is complete. Now, back on day one, we started with less repetitions, and now the reps are intense. Make sure that you are in good form. Good form is where we get great results. You also wanna make sure you're going through a comfortable range of motion that you can do well. You can go at your own speed or you can go at my pace. And if you need to break these long sets down, press pause, take what you need, and then come back and join in when you are ready. We're gonna start with squats. Legs, hip to shoulder width apart, toes are angled out. Weights in your heels, your chest is lifted, abs are tight, two counts. We're gonna sit back and then stand strong. Sit back and stand strong. Inhale, exhale, reaching the hips back like we're sitting in a chair that's a little too far away. But while we reach our hips back, we keep our chest lifted. Our abs sucking the belly in, flexing through those core muscles. We're keeping our core engaged through every single rep. Our neck is long and lean. Head is an extension of our spine. Inhale and exhale. Let's do some singles. Squat, strong. Remember, this single tempo pace feels too fast. Go at your own pace. This is about progress, not perfection. So make it the challenge you need it to be. Inhale. Exhale, squat, strong, lower, and lift. Knees are following the same angle as our toes. Now we're gonna take our squat and we're gonna slow it down again. Two counts, inhale as you lower. Exhale as you lift. I love coming back to this two count pace so we can really make sure that we're in good form. If you need to readjust, if you need to realign, it's easier to do that when we move slower. Reaching the hips back. Your knees are gonna come forward a little, but what we don't want is we don't want our knee forward as the movement. It's our hips reaching back, our chest staying lifted. Inhale, exhale, singles, squat, strong. Chin stays level. So we don't want to lift our chin and pinch our neck. We also don't want to be looking down at the ground. Keep your head an extension of your spine. Rib cages pull down, abs are tight. Sucking your belly in, flexing through those core muscles. And we're keeping our shoulders low. When we get tired, we tend to tense up through those traps. Keep the shoulders low and relaxed. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, squat, strong, lower, and lift. Slow it down. Good. Two counts each way. Reach the hips back. Stand strong. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Let's do four more. Nice and slow. Nice and strong. Last two. Singles. Squat, strong, lower, and lift. If this single tempo is too fast, you have options. You can make your squat smaller or slow down your pace. Go at your own pace. Form matters more than speed. And remember, if your body is telling you you need to take a break, press pause, take what you need, and then join back in when you are ready. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Slow it down, two counts, last time. Two counts each way. Inhale, and exhale. Lower and left. Single, 10, 9, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lunges. We're gonna do stationary lunges. Split squats, left leg is gonna go forward, your right leg is gonna go back. Hips are square, back heel is lifted on our tiptoe. We've got 39. Lower and lift, nice and slow. Inhale and exhale with this stationary lunge. No forward movement, no backward movement. We bend both knees and then we extend. Your front knee doesn't go forward past your toes. Your back knee stays behind your hips. So you feel just a little bit of a stretch through that right hip flexor. As we keep our hips neutral, reaching through the crown of our head. Singles. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Lower and lift. Belly sucking in, abs are tight. Chin stays level without looking up, without looking down. Inhale. Exhale. Lower, lift, lower, and lift. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, step it up. We're gonna do that same set on the other side. Right leg forward, left leg back. Split squat or stationary lunge. Squaring your hips, reaching up through the crown of our head. Back heels lifted on our tiptoes. Two counts to start us off, nice and slow. Inhale as you lower. Exhale as you lift. Inhale and exhale. Down for two, up for two. Down for two. Let's do four more, just like this. No forward movement, no backward movement. Breathing. Inhale. And exhale one more, nice and slow. Keep that same form, single tempo. Lunge. To bend as deep to get results. Just make sure you keep that good form, keep that alignment, whether it's a small range of motion or a deeper range of motion. Inhale. Exhale. Seven. Six. Four, three, two, one, step it up. Crunches, we got a lot of repetitions today. Standing crunches is always a choice. Focusing on contracting your core if this is the option you choose. Otherwise, bring it down to the floor. 115, fingertips behind our ears, lift to a hover, here we go, up for two. Now we're gonna do the same type of tempo that we did with our squats since it is such a long set. So the first eight are gonna be nice and slow. Exhale up, inhale. Feel length like you're stretching your head to the wall behind you, gliding up that wall towards where it meets the ceiling. We're looking up at the ceiling on an angle, keeping our chin level, sucking the belly in with each contraction. Singles, contract. Hover, lift, lower, inhale, exhale, up, hover, elbows out nice and wide so we're not pulling on our head, our core is making this movement happen. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. If the tempo feels too fast, go at your own pace. Doing great. Contract, hover, lift, and lower. Inhale, 
We're gonna take it back to two counts. Up for two. Lower to the hover. So these slow ones give you the opportunity to improve your form. Make sure you're locked in good alignment. And it gives you more time to explore your range of motion. Maybe you can contract higher. Maybe you can hover lower. Two more, nice and slow. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Single. Up. Hover. We're always sucking the belly in. We do not want to train these muscles to stick out. Train them to contract inward. Inhale and exhale. Hover. Now, if you need less, maybe your range of motion is smaller. Maybe it's a smaller basic crunch. Inhale and exhale. If you need more, you can go bigger. Tempo. You do not want to go faster than this single tempo pace. You are more than welcome to slow it down. Let's all slow it down. Two counts. Up for two. Lower to the hover. Up for two. Lower to the hover. Exhale. Belly check. Make sure. Sucking the belly in as we contract those abdominal muscles. Four more. Slow and strong. Exhale. Inhale. Up for two. Lower to that hover. Up for two. Single. Contract. Lift and lower. It's a lot of repetition. If you need to take a breath, press pause. Join back in when you're ready. Inhale. Exhale. Contract. Hover. Lift. Lower. Neck is long and lean, our chin is still level. We're still looking up at the ceiling on an angle. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Contract, hover, contract, hover, inhale. Slow it back down. Our last eight at this two count pace. Up, slow. Nobody wants to go this slow, this late into such a long set. But going two counts is part of the challenge. Take advantage. Explore that range of motion. Make sure you're in your best form. Contract up. Control to the hover. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Singles. Lift. Lift. Almost there. Make each one count. Don't just get it done. Keep breathing. Contract, hover, contract, hover. We've got three, two, one. That is done. Reach your arms overhead, extend your legs out straight, stretching through your fingers, stretching through your toes. Couple of nice deep breaths. Bending your knees. Hug your knees, holding underneath your calves. Give your back a little stretch. We have one exercise left, our push-ups. Now, if you are upright, if, if you want to get upright, you can always do these push-ups on the wall. You can use an incline if you have a couch or a bench, something secure that will allow you to have your hands higher than your legs. On the floor, we've got three position options. We can be on all fours, we can be on modified, head to our knees, or we can be advanced, head to our toes. We can be together for extra challenge, or a little bit of a wider stance can help you stabilize. Now, wherever you've chosen, hand position is so important. Hands are a little wider than shoulder width apart, and your hand should be below your shoulders. Right now, my hands are below my face. That is not how we isolate our chest. So shift so your hands are below your shoulders. Hardest position you can do in good form, two counts. We have 29 push-ups, is that right? That seems like a lot. 25 push-ups, that's better. <laughs> Down for two, and push for two. Keep it up, lower, and press. Inhale, exhale, lower, and press. Lower, and press. Two more, nice and slow. Inhale, exhale, last one. 
We're not done, but we're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna do another set of 10. Hardest position you can do in good form. Here we go. Down for two. Push up. Down for two. Push up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Down for two. Push up. Long neck. Strong core. Lower. Press. Lower. Press. Try not to tuck your chin or lift your chin. One more. Great job. Think of that. Quick rest. We're going to do five more, finishing this off. Five push-ups. Take a little extra rest this set. Hardest position you can do in good form. Three, two, one. Here we go. Down for two. Push for two. Down for two. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Last two. Belly sucking up towards our spine. Flexing through the core. Last one. Sink it back. Feel that length. Couple nice deep breaths as we stretch. Round up nice and slow. And we are done. Day 29. We have one day left. Fantastic job. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Come back tomorrow. Finish with me. See you then.